Close your eyes and watch your breath. Look after the quality of the breath, because after all, the breath is what keeps you alive. There's energy that keeps you alive. If it's not comfortable, if it feels strained, if it feels tense, it's going to have an effect both on the body and on the mind. So try to find a way of getting the breath energy to feel good. So the quality of our life energy right now is going to be good. Because it's what you're putting into your life right now that, that makes all the difference. As the Buddha pointed out, there are four kinds of people in the world. Those who come in darkness and go in darkness. Those who come in darkness but go in light. Those who come in light and go in light, and those who come in light but go in darkness. And the important thing is how we're going. I mean, how we come is a result of past actions, old karma. Those who come in darkness are people who have lots of difficulties in life, lots of obstacles that they have to overcome because of their past karma. They're born into difficult situations, and they meet up with difficult situations that come from the past karma. Those who are born in light are the ones who have all kinds of easy things in life, again, from their past karma. But that's just setting things up. It's what you do with the darkness or the light. That makes all the difference, because people who come in darkness can go in light. In other words, you raise yourself up above your old level of karma and do something better with your life. The worst, the worst example, of course, is those who come in light but go in darkness. In other words, they've had good opportunities, but they waste them. They don't observe the precepts, they don't meditate, they don't develop goodness in all the various ways that goodness can be developed. And as a result, they just eat up all their old good past karma and there's nothing left, and they go in darkness. So you have to appreciate that we're all here with some darkness and some light. It's not like everybody's all light or everybody's all darkness. You've got some darkness and some light. Make advantage, take advantage of the light. After all, you are a human being. Human beings have lots of special abilities that other animals don't have. So take advantage of that fact. Okay? Instead of focusing on the negative things that have happened in your life, focus on the positive opportunities you've got right now to bring more light into your life. And doing that, you bring more light into the life of other people around you, too. So whether you come in darkness or come in light, that's not the issue. The issue is how you're going to go. And how you're going to go is determined by what you're doing right now. This is why we train the mind. So once you make up your mind you want to do something good, you can stick with it. The untrained mind sticks with something for a while and then gets distracted and goes off someplace else. And the opportunity to develop more light in your life just gets wasted as time passes. It's not like we get more and more time the longer we live. It's less and less time is available. When we're children, we live under the delusion that okay, as you get older, things just get better and better, because you get bigger and bigger and smarter and smarter. But there comes a point where it turns around and goes the other way. Things you work to gain, you can lose very easily. So work to develop the things that you don't lose in that way. Work on your perfections. Work on the good qualities of your mind, because those stick with you, not only in this lifetime, but also on into future lifetimes. So work on bringing some light and bringing something of real solid value to your life. And that's called a life well spent. From the outside, people may not know, but you know from the inside that you've spent your life well. Develop good qualities inside. What they see doesn't matter. But what you know inside, that's what really matters. So pay attention to that. And be mindful to keep that in mind.